to this day. 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 What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Michael Hivita. Get this Michael Hivita says to undefeated guys such as Martin, he says they have never fought somebody like me. Michael Hivita respects <clears throat> Frank Martin's boxing ability and his willingness to take a difficult fight against the unbeaten opponent at this stage of his career, but the 24 year old Hivita who is three years younger than Martin, still feels that he is better prepared for their 12-round WBA elimination bout, okay? And <clears throat> the Dominican Republic's Vivida has beat an undefeated fighter two bouts ago, Joseph Adorno, uh, and believes that he has faced better competition overall than Indianapolis's Martin, a southpaw that didn't take up boxing until he was 18, and this is what he had to say. He said, I have undefeated guys on my record before, Hivera said. It's not, no, it's not something new for me. It's something new for him. He never fought with somebody like me. I know he has good skills and is a good guy, but I'm a better guy. Everybody will see in this fight. I know after this fight, something good is coming, but I'm focused on this fight right now. And he says, I am a contender and I'm in position to fight for a world title. He needed it. <clears throat> I don't need it. I don't need, he needs me. I don't need him. But he, he is a prospect. I am a contender. If I am in his position, I would take the fight. That's not a surprise. The people that I needed, they don't want to take the fight. Isaac Pitbull Cruz are these guys that they already fought for a world title. They don't take the fight. So no, I'm not surprised he took the fight. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> Hivera is a surprise. Looks a lot like Muhammad Ali. I wonder if Muhammad Ali took a little trip over there back in the day and <laughs> back in 1997, right? Cause he was born in 98. And let's look at some of these undefeated guys that he's fought. Okay. Um, Joseph Adorno, right? We we he's mentioned him. Um uh Dere Teles Giron, okay, he was 13 and 0. Uh who else? Yankee Leon, which is 12 was which was 12 and 0, right? Uh Marco Aceveda, which is 10 and 0. And I don't see another one since then. All right. So that's one, two, Three, four, and five, Frank Martin. Okay, so can Frank Martin, though, um, <clears throat> be a, make a name for himself, right? I uh, was born in Detroit, raised in Indianapolis. Um, wonder if he has some of that Detroit or <clears throat> that Detroit strength or is that philly really philly's known for the toughness so is so is detroit though to be fair um okay yeah um as far as as far as competition goes michael is right i mean i don't really see frank martin doing a lot i mean i know he's 16 and 0 um and um <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. And um, these guys that are undefeated, though, on um, Hivera's record, one that the one that really sticks out to me wasn't an undefeated fighter at all. You know, um, he was actually. Uh, John Hernandez from Spain, okay, and um, oh yeah, box Rex trips, it, it's tripping. But anyhow, John for John Fernandez, John Fernandez was uh, twenty one and one, 
okay? And if you look at his record, John Fernandez was, um, well, actually, no, he was, um, now he's 23 and 3. But when he fought Hevera, he was, um, he had lost only one fight, okay? And that was by um, Oshaki Foster, right? And <clears throat> and he lost a unanimous decision. But with Hevera, you know, he lost with a KO because Hevera got him out of there and it was a very good fight. And that's when Michael Hevera came on the radar to me because I seen uh, John Fernandez. And John Fernandez was a top quality fighter, very good skills, good inside fighting, great defense you know, and he was an overall uh, good prospect, okay, until, okay, of course, Foster, he fought Foster, lost a unanimous decision, and then he went up against the unbeaten Hevera, okay, so when Hevera, when he fought Hevera, Hevera was flashy, he was in and out, he had that Ali style, that shuffle, you know, and I was thinking to myself, who in the Hades is this guy, where did he come from, he comes from DR, okay, so, you know, that's who he ended up losing against. You know, of course, he's lost again to Samuel Molina. But, you know, um, needless to say, Michael Hevera came on the radar. And I think he has a better uh, resume. So it's going to really be up to um, <clears throat> Frank Martin to prove who he is and where he needs to be in this particular situation. I will cover this fight live Saturday. I do have a personal event there. I have to go to a funeral. But I should be back in time um, to cover this particular fight because I'm very interested to see the career of Hevera and along with Frank Martins as well because Frank Martin is a guy that's trying to come up the ranks also and he's trying to prove that he's one of the best. But you guys tell me what you think of Michael Hevera saying that, hey, uh, Frank Martin is nothing new. I've beat undefeated guys before. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.